What's good people, it's your boy Anime Analyst aka the Young Jiggy Ninja and today the first episode of Black Clover came out. I mean I remember when this uh, first got announced as like a manga and now it's finally debuted in anime form and I can say that this anime was everything basically I kind of expected from uh, watching the little trailers and stuff like that i knew i would like it so it's really dope like they're basically in this world where magic is basically the energy that they use and magic is what everybody uses so they're all mages and stuff like that and it kind of gives me like a naruto hunter hunter type of feel i mean if you like mage powers and all type of stuff like that then you'll definitely like this anime and i can say if you like naruto or hunter hunter you would definitely like this anime some people have compared this uh to fairy tale as well but i don't watch fairy tale so i really wouldn't know in terms of that comparison but i think that as itself black clover really stands out and it's really something fresh that i've been wanting uh in this anime season so there's two characters uh basically asta and you know so basically a little synopsis is that this church they find it's in this magical world where they use mage powers and stuff like that this church finds two young boys while they're infants and they're together so one is asta and one is you know one asta is like the loud obnoxious one and you know like the cool calm collected one so these two boys they get raised by the church a mage dude and it skips to 15 years later and they are 15 when this episode starts basically getting into the real part so this first episode is kind of like the daily life of basically asta and you know and when the kids in this anime world they turn 15 they go and get a magical book that basically enhances their magical power so uh that's kind of the whole flow of the first episode is really just introducing you to the world and kind of the stuff you can look forward to expect so i mean overall i, re I really don't want to spoil too much that's why i'm really not going into detail i just want you guys to watch it but i would definitely recommend this anime it's it's i can see this being one of those like because some animes are just uh i don't know it's just fresh man like i needed something like this and i i i can't wait for episode two man uh, i'm really like at the end of the episode you're gonna see like it's, it's really hype man well i'm just gonna say it's like very it's a very intriguing anime like anything with like magical powers and stuff like that it just ends up being intriguing in terms of the direction they can go because they can really go anywhere and it's just like yo this is dope to see this is dope to see animated and uh in terms of the characters asta kind of annoying but at the same time he's not that annoying he kind of brings uh something to the table in terms of uh you got the two characters you know it's kind of I mean, for right now, we don't really see his personality that much because he's just chilling. But Asta is very obnoxious in this first episode and it's, it's kind of annoying. And we kind of got more of Asta in this episode. But definitely towards the second episode, I can see them throwing in the combo of both. They're, I mean, they're, they're essentially brothers since they grew up together. So, I mean, I definitely can't wait for episode two, guys. I know I'm repeating myself, but damn, uh, go check this out. Crunchyroll. I'll leave a guest pass for those who want to check out the anime. Uh, and that's all I got, man. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Anime Analyst, I'm out of here, guys. Peace.